Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwan and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for April 18th, 2021. In this video, we're gonna talk about the updates, what's been going on with me for the past uh, couple weeks since my last vlog. We're gonna do a shout out and Q&A segment towards the end of the video. I wanna give you guys my reviews of all the TV shows and movies and stuff like that that I watched this past week. I did complete a video game, my very first Nintendo Switch video game that I, I, I completed. And uh, this is very special. I usually do this in this very own separate video. This week, we're gonna do a haul video. I bought some DVDs, Blu-rays, video games. I want to share with you what I got recently, all right? So the first thing I want to talk about is my first Nintendo Switch uh, completion, game completion. That is my friend Pedro Blood Bullets Bananas. And yeah, this game is bananas, okay? This game, it's bad, man. It's really bad. I, I don't mean bad like it's glitchy or, and, and the story's bad or anything like that. I mean it's bad in like the message you take away, the, uh, the morals... It's, it's not for kids, man. Bloody, gory, not for kids, all right? So in this game, you just completely go on a rampage. You just like, kill everyone in sight, commit murders for no absolute reason, all right? And um, uh, I like the action. It's a side-scrolling platforming game. They have like puzzles and stuff like that. You gotta shoot like this and it bounces off this and it turns on a switch and stuff like that. It's it, In terms of like the gameplay, I like that part, okay? But the fact that, okay, spoiler alert, you kill your parents, you kill your brother, you know, at the end of the game, and then at the end of the, uh, end of the game, you're like, yeah, they're dead, great, now I'm free, you know? That's the moral of the story. So if you are like into that, play this game. Okay, this game came with my Nintendo Switch. It was like one of the first games I played. But uh came with like stickers and stuff like that. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I like the gameplay. I just didn't like the whole, the morals, the plot, the story, the message of it. All right. But uh there it is. My first Nintendo Switch game that I completed. I did finish another uh, uh, TV show this past week. It's the Harley Quinn uh, series. That was on uh, DC Universe. I believe now it's on HBO Max because DC Universe doesn't exist anymore, I believe. Uh, this is the second season, all right? In the second season, Poison Ivy and um, Poison Ivy is, is uh, getting married and stuff to Kite Man. And then uh, and uh, Harley Quinn doesn't like that and stuff like that. So he's, and then, you know, the cops are trying to get involved because apparently all the, all, the, uh, all the enemies, all the bad guys, all the villains, in Gotham City get together for this one wedding and they want to like, you know, just capture everyone at once. Uh, meanwhile, Harley Quinn, she wants to take over, you know? So she ended up uh, killing Penguin and Two-Face and stuff like that. She, she wants to be like, like in charge of everyone, you know? Meanwhile, Joker is like brainwashed or whatever. He doesn't know who he is. And then uh, we want to uh, avoid Joker coming back. He has a family with kids and stuff like that, and he has a regular job, and, and Harley Quinn doesn't want to like trigger his memory. He, he, he becomes the Joker again, you know? I like this season. A lot of uh, great characters. It's very funny, okay? Check it out. Check out the first season also. And uh, yeah, Harley Quinn season two. Uh, really enjoyed it. Also, with the new Space Jam announcement with LeBron James, I decided to watch these. They're only like two bucks at uh, Half Price Books, so I'm gonna try to pick them up. I mean, I already have these cartoons because they have like the Golden Collection, the Platinum Collection, the Spotlight Collection for Looney Tunes, but I like these books. I know there's like a Tweety one, and there's like a Tasmanian Devil version of these, but I, I just got Bugs and Daffy here, okay? Uh, so each of these have like six cartoons or so, and uh, the same cartoon, the classics, you know? They just put like the best of the best together, okay? So, uh, also look for Roadrunner and Wally Coyote, Tasmanian Devil, Sylvester and Tweety, okay? So, it has the one where, you know, for bugs, they're in the cave with Daffy, and uh, they release the genie and stuff like that. There's another one where uh, the, the, the stork picked up uh, bugs instead of a baby, and they sent him to a family of, of uh, gorillas, you know? There's the one where... Um, Bugs Bunny joins the army, okay? And uh, his commanding officer keeps getting demoted. <laughs> it's funny, okay? Uh, for the 
Um, Daffy Duck one. Let's see what's on here. Oh, there's one where um, Daffy tries to sell insurance to um, to Porky Pig. There's another cartoon on here where he meets Foghorn Leghorn and tries to sell him like gags to get the dog and stuff like that. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. The classics. All right. All right. I'm gonna do the Q and A now. I actually wrote it all on this uh, this uh, whiteboard here, and then we're gonna do the haul. All, all the DVDs and Blu-rays I bought recently. Okay. So. Young Jesus Plays 5200 asked me, will I see Black Widow when it comes out? Yeah, I plan to, man. I mean, I've been waiting for over a year. It's supposed to come out last year, remember? It was supposed to come out in 2020, like the summer last year, but it never did. And the movie's done. Same thing with, I believe Fast and Furious was done this whole time too. And James Bond, they won't release those movies. So Black Widow's done, I know that. You know, they've released toys and action figures and pop figures and stuff like that. All these connections to Black Widow. Well, it's, it, they're, they're on sale now. <laughs> so when the movie comes out, I'll watch it. Uh, Fiery 106 San asked me, have I seen WandaVision or um, Falcon and Winter Soldier? Uh, no, I have not. I know what's happening on the show because people keep telling me on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. People are making video reviews and stuff. I watch those. And uh, my friend Nathaniel keeps texting me, Damn, I can't believe it! This happened! So, I was like, <laughs> yeah, so, I don't, I don't need to watch it. I got plenty of people telling me what's happening in the show. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Uh, Dimension Scott asked me, Am I on board with hashtag Restore the Snyderverse? Uh, yeah, I guess I am. Although I, I didn't hashtag, I, I didn't like tweet out myself or anything. I wasn't even involved with release the Snyder Cut. I never tweet out anything like that. I was like, I'm completely fine with the the, the other Justice League, you know, the, the, the Justice League. I was completely fine with it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that the the uh, the Snyder version of it uh, came out, but uh, if it never did, I mean, like, well, at least there's a Justice League movie that exists, okay? Now they're, they're talking about restoring the Snyder's. Release... The new Justice League 2 and 3 and stuff like that. Finish this whole apocalypse, um, dark side storyline and stuff like that. If they do, great. If they don't, like, I'm, 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 I'm satisfied with the, all the stuff so far. Basically, the one thing I need them to release, okay, is this Flash movie. The one they rumored that, that, that uh, you know, they just recently said that uh, Grant Gustin from the Flash TV series. You can see I have the, the whole, whole, whole series on, on DVD, okay? And Blu-ray. Um, he's going to be in it. They just announced that this past week. They said that the Batm Batmobile from Michael Keaton's movie will be in it. Okay? And supposedly Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton, even Rob Robert Pattinson will make like a cameo or something like that. They keep saying, I'll believe it when I see it. All right? I'll believe it when I see it. There recently was mentioned that uh, Alfred Molina, who played Doc Ock in uh, Spider-Man 2, the uh, Tom McGuire Spider-Man, he's going to be in a new uh, movie. So, uh, I, I guess... <laughs> that got me kind of excited, even more than, than Flash, honestly, but, uh, like, Flash needs to be do good, and honestly, the one with The Rock, the Black Adam movie, that needs to do good, and then we'll talk about Restore the Snyderverse, okay? Uh, Batwing asked me, when will I play Spider-Man PS4 because I spent all my money on the Switch? <laughs> he, he basically answered his own question. I, I, uh, spent all my money on the Switch, and, uh... Spider-Man PS4 will have to just be delayed some, some a little bit more, okay? Here's the problem. Here's why I bought the Switch in the first place, all right? Remember that snowstorm that happened in Texas that pr practically shut down the entire state? I was without power and water for an entire week, okay? Um, during that time, I was like, I need something to entertain myself. There's no light, so it's not like I can like read or something at night. Well, I still have my 3DS. I have my 3DS charge and stuff like that. And honestly, the games I had on the 3DS were boring. I wanted something new, okay? So that's why I bought the Switch. In case there's some type of uh, incident or whatever where I lose power and I want to entertain myself somehow, I, I, uh, I have some video games, you know? I have the Switch to play. So if I bought Spider-Man PS4, guess what? If I lose power in the house, I can't play my PS4, okay? But at least the Switch, I can charge it up, okay? I got the, one of those, uh, those big battery packs that can like, uh, plug in via USB. Steve Durbin asked me one of those very common questions. Will I live stream soon? Sure. Well, you gotta know, I, I don't usually plan out my live streams. It just happened. You know, I was like, oh man, I have some free time. Let's just play video games. Hmm, should I live stream it? All right, I'll live stream it. Okay. That, that's how it usually goes. Okay. I don't plan, plan these things out. 
Shout outs go to the Red Nose Collector and Joseph 968's cousin. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching and, and uh, you know, supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. Okay. All right. Last thing here. Let's take a look at some of the video games and all of the uh, movies I bought recently. Video games. I bought Zone of the Enders, uh, the second runner, Mars. I don't know if this is the same thing I played on PS3, because I played Zone of the Enders on PS3. It was like a uh, collection, HD collection. I don't know if this is the same thing, but it was $5. So I was like, why not? I'll, I'll, just, I'll just grab it. I, uh, I do have the Zone of the Enders uh, anime. I also have the Zone of the Enders, the, the, the collection on PS3, which I believe is a remaster HD collection of two games on the PS2. I don't know what this is, all right? It says VR on it and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I, 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 I can even play it. Um, I bought this Titanic, okay? It was at a dollar store. <laughs> so it has, um, it has the girl from Doctor Who who plays uh, Clara, one of the, one of the uh, companions in Doctor Who. She's in it. Is this, oh, it's a four part mini series. All right, well, I'll, I'll check it out when I, when, I, when I have time, all right? I also have here, bought this for, how much did I buy it for? It was cheap. It's the three movie collection, that uh, Robert Langdon collection, which includes Inferno, Da Vinci Code, and Angels and Demons. I think the correct order is Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno. That's the, that's the order that came out uh, theatrically, okay? I think the, in the books it was different, but uh, uh, you have to go that way if you wanna watch the movies, okay? Uh, I've seen the Da Vinci Code. I haven't seen these two. And look, it has a uh, Jen Urso in uh, in Inferno. I haven't seen that. I've seen Da Vinci Code. That's the only movie I've, I've seen. I actually have that movie digitally on uh, on my Voodoo, okay? And movies anywhere and stuff like that. All right. So that's something to watch in the future. This one I bought for two dollars at. It was still, uh, you know, in the plastic. I saw that half-price book. Oh, no, I saw this at Goodwill. I saw that at the Goodwill, okay? Peter, uh, Peter and the Last Supper, okay? Apostle Peter and the Last Supper. So Peter was the one who denied Jesus three times, okay? I should have watched it during Easter. Easter is, well, past now, but uh, is, is that the dude from uh, Godfather? He looks like it. It's like Hyman Roth from Godfather. I didn't know that dude was still alive. Okay, well, I'll watch this movie someday. <laughs> okay, another one. People have been begging me to watch this. I haven't seen it, okay? Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. The the one that, the first one, okay? I know they released a, uh, a new one recently. I haven't seen that one either. But my friend Nathaniel was like, you gotta play this, this you gotta watch this movie and play the game and, uh, and stuff like that, okay? So now that I finally have it, I, I finally watch it. Finally here... Bought this for uh, like five dollars or something. Okay, all eyes on me. The the uh, the untold story of Tupac Shakur. Hail Mary, come with me. Hail Mary, run quick, see California love. Yeah. Okay. So Tupac, you know he. Uh, I was like in a middle school or something when uh, when I heard the news of his uh, his sh shooting. Okay, um, so. Looking forward to see if this movie's any good, okay? Apparently the dude who played Biggie, uh, Biggie Smalls, uh, Notorious B.I.G., okay? Uh, in, in the other movie, he, he, he uh, comes back for this one, apparently. Hmm. All right, well, looking forward to watching it someday. All right, so you, you'll probably hear me do reviews or something in the coming weeks for those movies, all right? Thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.